is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison doors to them that are bound. Verse number two says, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. Verse number three, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of what? Happiness, that they might be called what? The trees of what? Righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be what? Glorified. I want to talk to you from the subject, oil carriers for revival. He has, he has anointed me to uh, send to bind, and he has anointed me to open up the prison doors of them that are bound. And so when God releases oil in a generation, he always releases oil for these things. He releases it to preach, to bind, and to release. The oil is always categorized or released into the generation so that there can be strong preaching, there can be strong binding, and there can be strong release. And so when God places praises and an oil on the inside of you, he's not placing it on the inside of you so you can look cute with it. But there's an assignment that is attached to the oil that is on the inside of you. Uh, the producing of the oil is the hard part. Whenever the oil is produced, there's a, there's a machine that the oil, the olive, has to go in. And so when the olive is placed in this machine, the machine crushes the olive and the oil eats on out. And so as oil carriers, we must be broken. We must be broken. And I know a lot of people don't like to hear that because a lot of people uh, take the oil and it, they make it Hollywood. And one, one thing, the reason why me and Mike connect is so strong is because I don't have a spirit of Hollywood. I don't like Hollywood. I don't think Hollywood and church should mix at all. You grand, you got five armor bearers, you got you got them carrying your briefcase, nothing in it but a laptop and get a raid. You know, you pull up late, show up, you know, leave early. It's Hollywood. And so one thing about oil carriers, we must be broken. We must be broken to produce the oil that is on the inside. Without us being broken, we can never be effective with our oil. The oil will be like in the olive. It'll just stay there. But when the olive is crushed, the oil eats out just like us as believers. When we are crushed in our daily lives, God is not trying to kill us, but he's trying to produce something out of us because the oil is needed for the time at hand. Lift your hands and say, God, break me. Break 